Hey everybody, I'm here out in where are we at? I have no idea. Jalim Jalim Rio. Jalim Rio, we're out here fishing. And Bev is um, one of the folks out here on the boat. It's four of us, or three of us actually. Um, she's been, well, I just wanted to ask her some questions about Mexico and she said she'll share some basic information about life in Mexico. So, what brought you to Mexico and how long have you been here? Wow, wow, wow. Where'd Collect you come from? Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Oh, no. A lot of Texas folks in here like this, this guy here. <laughs> oh, Houston. A lot of folks in Houston. Wow, wow. Now, what brought you here? My husband always wanted to retire outside the United States. Uh-huh. Because he lived in Germany when he was young and working. And he saw the advantage uh -huh. of living outside. So, what was your opinion when he brought up the idea of moving to Mexico? What were your thoughts? I get to pick the place. Ah. I didn't want to live on an island because, you know, you get, you really do get island fever after a while. I don't care how big that island is. Yeah. Plus, you can't walk back to Texas on an island. That's true. <laughs> that was my first priority. I, as long as I can walk back to Texas, if I have to. Uh -huh. You're good to go. So no island. No island. Walkability. No, yeah. Don't want to have to cross the uh, the uh, canals. Uh -huh. No. I, I want to walk. You want to walk. So how many was Merida the first place that you discovered or did you look oh, in no. other places before? We traveled around a lot. Wow. And I found early on that it, if I liked the place, then he hated it. If I hated it, he liked it. Uh -huh. So when we got to Mexico, we got we went to different places in Mexico. Uh -huh. We never could agree. So when we got to Merida, I stopped off the plane and I I just had a feeling I was really gonna like it, uh -huh. which I did. But I didn't tell him I hated it. I hated it. I don't want to live here. I can't stand here. The more I hated it, the better he liked it. <laughs> that's why we're here. Wow. So <laughs> you know, I did the same thing. Um, we lived in Amelia Island in Florida. Oh, I know where that is. Yo, okay, yeah. She did not want to go. So, I wandered over there to St. Mary's. Are you familiar with St. Mary's, sure. Georgia, right next door? Yeah. She absolutely hated it. I'm like, well, this is where we're moving. Well, what about that other place we just saw, Amelia Island? I'm like, no, I hate the island. No, we're going to move. St. Mary's. No, no, you know what? If we can go to Amelia Island, then we can move there. That's how we ended up in the middle. That's exactly <laughs> right. We do what we have to do. Exactly. She ended up falling in love uh -huh. with the place. Oh, uh, beautiful. Very beautiful. Kids yes. went to school there and yeah. just had a wonderful time. And um, But yeah, yeah, so it works. That yes, technique it does. works extremely well. So that's a tip for y'all that are trying to work your way out somewhere. Hey, Hey, do what you got to do. Absolutely. Any surprises about life in Mexico? I know there's a lot of stereotypes about living in Mexico. Um, were there any surprises or anything that surprised you when you got here? Oh, I've had some revelations. Not surprises so much, but a lot of revelations. My advice would be get here early in your life. The, the younger you are, it's easier to learn the language if you don't know Spanish. True. If you don't speak Spanish, the earlier... Uh, when, when I first came down here in, in 2003, mm -hmm. I, I learned Spanish. I learned pretty good Spanish pretty quickly. Wow. Then I went home and had to stay home for a while. Then I, I came back 10 years later. Mm -hmm. I haven't... I can't retain very much of it at all. I, I struggle with it. Wow. Get here early. Get here early. So, so you said 2003. That's what, almost what, 18, 18 years ago. Yes. So that was your first time. Yes. And wow, wow. 
Wow, so you've been, so y'all been traveling a bit. Yeah, I, now my husband and I bought a house in 2003 in Merida. Real? Wow. And, and his mother was living with us. Uh -huh. So I, I, I was fine. I was, we had retired. Uh -huh. Loved his mother. We were living the good life. Mm -hmm. Had a great house. Loved that house. Uh -huh. My sister called me and said, get back up here to Texas. I can't take care of daddy by myself. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back home and take care of dad. Wow. Until he passed. Away. Take that. Okay. How long were, how long was that? Ten years. Ten years. Okay. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Um, Thank you. Sure. Sure. Um, so life in Mexico was was a typical day like for you oh, or a typical so, week. It's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy. It's um. Nobody gets in a hurry. You don't. There's no pressure to be on time. I mean, if you're if you're ten minutes late, you don't have to have a coronary. It's, yeah. Uh, the only thing that really I think really surprised me was the difference between how this town grew in ten years that I was not driving around it. Really. The traffic has become horrendous. Wow. And vicious. And. Um, they're not kind. Uh -huh. Now, you take them out of that car and put them in a line or in a store, and they are the sweetest, <laughs> nicest, most patient, most wonderful people I've ever met in my life. You uh -huh. put them in a car, uh -huh. and they turn into a Tasmanian devil. I agree. And in turn, I have become a Tasmanian devil. Wow. Because I have to, I have to get from here to there. I love the people, don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. That they are. Until they get in the car. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's strange. They, they, you're right. I mean, they turn into a whole different person, a whole other personality altogether. And like you say, they super nice, but when they get in that in that car and get behind that wheel, become extremely aggressive, and uh, it's almost fun, it's funny, territorial, very territorial behind that wheel. <laughs> wow. What else about Mexico that that you like? Um, so stress free, uh, not in a hurry. Um, what else? What are some other benefits? Uh, the, the, the climate is the same as Houston. If I, my heart goes out to these people who come from Minnesota down here and are are shocked by the weather. Uh huh. I it. Don't you agree that it's the same as Houston? Just about. But these these people from Canada uh -huh. and and Minnesota and Wisconsin that want to move down here and make it their retirement. Yeah. They have a you talk about learning curve. Wow. I mean, they they have to do a molecular change before they get used to this. Ooh. Even, and air conditioning here is not there's so much humidity, they're surprised by the air conditioning. It's yeah. not as effective uh -huh. as in the States. So, it's a, it's a learning curve. It is, it is. And not for the faint of heart if you expect, you know, this... When they say tropical islands and tropical breezes, uh -huh. you better start looking up the word tropical. <laughs> if you want to know what they're talking about. Absolutely, absolutely. But I can't, I, you know, the... Uh -huh. Just as advantageous. Exactly. Exactly. I and, agree. And it's, you know, if you really want something, you'll sooner or later you'll find it. It's. I think everybody kind of feels that ubiquitously because it takes a little. It takes a little hunting and picking to find what you want. But you know, there's like you said, like. You know, you may not get all your spices at the at the grocery store. Uh -huh. I mean, there are other little stores all through Merida that have, if you're looking for Thai spices 
Uh-huh. You just got you got to look for them. But yeah. There. And that's what makes it so fun to yeah. me. Yeah. You get to go explore and absolutely and, and having the time to do that. And more so, yeah, exactly. More so, yeah, having the time to do it and the freedom and flexibility. And you run into other spices or other sure. stuff that you never would have even yeah. considered yeah. just from the, the scavenger hunt, you know, and meeting people. So I, I absolutely love it. Yeah. I know for me, for the most part, um, I haven't craved or missed too much. Well, I take that back. The only thing that I missed was my Waffle House. And, uh, <laughs> Waffle House. <Yeah. laughs> I found a few substitutes that gets me through, yeah. you know. I um, my Walgreens. You, yes. yes, absolutely. Yeah. It was. Yeah, Waffle House is good. Yeah, I look, ooh, they, ooh. Mm -hmm. And them eggs, the way yes. they make those eggs. Oh, my I God. Agree. I miss it. I miss it. So every now and again, at about 3 in the morning, <laughs> me and the kids will sneak out the house at 3 in the morning. And we homeschool, so we were able to sneak out at 3 in the morning, go to the Waffle yeah. House. So, you know, here I just got to wait till the morning. The smell when you walk in the door, this can't be big. Yes. Oh. yes, I agree. Oh. 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 Thank you there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I didn't miss it till you mentioned it. And yeah. I remembered I missed it like hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, I got, ooh, ooh, that's the one. As soon as I'm, yeah. when I go back to the States, as soon as that plane hit the ground, at the first place we hitting up and getting some of those half browns. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, um, so y'all live in Mid. Now, do y'all stay in the north or central? No, we, have, we have a house here on the. On the, on, 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 in Chile. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wow. I bet that's fun. So, beach life. Beach life. I know a lot of people say, hey, I want to live on the beach. And, you know, it's unaffordable in the States. Uh, is it much more here. affordable here? It's becoming hard. Very difficult to own here. Ah. The, the prices, when you say about the prices, have just increased exponentially. I, I'm amazed at how much the property value has gone up on the beach. Really? You can't hardly find a property that's. Wow. It's really so So it's gone dress on. But get ready for everyday sand on your on your countertops and on your floor. Uh -huh. Ooh. And uh, you have to wipe out your drinking glasses, and there's sand everywhere. The wind blows a lot in the afternoon. Uh huh. And it's there's a lot of corrosion. Uh huh. But there's this view that supersedes everything else. Yes. So, you know, and, the, and the wind in the afternoon when it gets really hot. So for those who've never lived on the beach. It's an adjustment. It is an adjustment. So it's not just like, uh, just show up and everything's going to be fine, then and can, great. Yeah, if they think they can, they can circumvent that by putting stuff around their doors and, and special windows uh, and this and that. Uh, au contraire, mon frere. They're going to get sand in their hands. <laughs> I don't care where you slice it. Wow, wow. But it's worth it. It's worth it. My, my, my. You eat a lot of seafood. You eat seafood here quite often. Being so close to the coast. It's available. I, we don't. Uh -huh. um, he's not. He, my husband grew up on the East Coast and he ate fish mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. So he's not a fish eater. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a beef eater. And I'm, I'm not. Like I said, my mother didn't give me the cooking gene. So cooking is. <laughs> Something having to die and be cooked the way I cook it. Yeah. It's a travesty. Mmm. It doesn't do justice to the seafood. Wow. So wow. I don't even try. Don't even fool. <laughs> no. no I'll, I'll go out and order it. Uh huh. Because I know it's it's gonna be eaten, it's not gonna go to waste. Exactly. Any advice or tips for anyone considering a move to Mexico or just moving abroad um, Many of the people that follow my channel Have been looking for other places to live due to um, Limited income or they're retiring and um, they, they just want to make their money stretch further or do more with with the income that they have any Advice or feedback you have for anyone make, considering the idea of moving? Well, I, I guess 
it's more for women because I, that's that's what I see a lot of more so than men. So my advice would be to women. I know a lot of good, strong women who move down here because of financial reasons, and they get them a place and they live a good life. Mm -hmm. But don't come down here looking for a husband. Don't mm -hmm. come down here looking for a a uh, another female partner. It that's it's it's very difficult to find something like that don't, mm -hmm. don't don't anticipate that happening come down and if it happens fine but don't come down with the idea that that you're going to find somebody on the beach or at a party or something that's, that's not how it works so you know come down on your own mm -hmm. on your own volition on your own money on your own incentive incentive uh -huh. you'll be a lot happier a lot happier wow ask you this now that you brought that up the women that have single women particularly that have come here have settled down and then settled in because uh, this is a question a lot of people ask have not necessarily asking that if many of them have found a partner um, but uh, I guess how, how should I well I guess I do that do you find that they are happy, the ones who have not found a partner, or yes. have many of them found a partner? No, many of them have not found a partner, and and they come down here and they're and they're happy with their life, mm -hmm. and they they find things that that open a venue that like arts yes. are are uh, selling real estate or uh, whatever they're personality has been to uh -huh. they're very fulfilled and they're very happy they came down and they stay until they pass away I guess I I've only I've only known two women uh -huh. that actually found a husband here one of them was looking she's a poor husband and sure enough <laughs> sure enough yeah, but that was uh in fact, I gave her a, a, a wedding present that had never say never on the outside of the, yeah. uh, the outside of the uh, pot plant. But anyway, um, two women that all I know of, mm. and I know a lot of single women here. Wow! Wow! But they they all find their niche. They all one opens a restaurant, the other one is. Uh, saying is true, you know, work on yourself, find happiness within, sure. and, Absolutely. And, and, and work on that more so than trying to find somebody else to latch on to, and, 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 and find that happening from the and inside. Too, I, I, don't know, I don't know very many single men who move down here looking for somebody, I don't think they do, mm -hmm. and I don't know... Great topic, great topic. Um, well, shoot, that's, I, I think you pretty much answered everything. Um, well, come down here and go fishing, if nothing else. Absolutely. Bob will take you fishing. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's well, wonderful water. There's water all around. And it's, it's, it's so placating. It's so soothing. And it's fun. Very fun. Very fun. But come down... And spend a, a season. A season being from uh, November first to to May first. Spend a season. Get your bearings. You know, see if you're gonna like it. Just find find a, a place between Chilem or Chibernata or Chichalub or 
some place that you're happy that you and Progresso, you'll find a, a place that makes you happy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, there's always room for more. That it is. That it is. So there you have it, folks. Um, come check it out for yourself. At the end of the day, that's what you're going to have to do. And uh, thank you so much for your time, Bev. I appreciate it. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank y'all for watching.